Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rahi Lu, aka Ra, aka Lulu, aka Ra Ra, aka whatever aka you've given me. Um, but welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my third time trying to make a YouTube channel, and um, I think this time around I'm gonna stick around. But before we start, um, please make sure you subscribe and you turn on your post notifications so that you can stay attuned to all the dope content I'm gonna be bringing you guys. Um, I wanted to start a YouTube channel because I wanted to let people into my world a bit more. I know that people always look at me and they're like, oh, like, I see you here. I see you there. Like, how do you do all these things? So I figured this would be a great opportunity to let you guys into my world a little bit more and, you know, kind of help each other out. Um, so today, the first video is going to be a get to know me video. So it's going to be 25 things that you should know about me. Also, I had people on Instagram ask me questions uh, about things that they wanted to know about me. So it's a combination of those questions as well as a couple of questions that I thought would be cool for you guys to know. So let's get started. So the first question is, what is your name? So my name is Rahilu Jalla. Um, yes, Rahilu. It's not Rahilu. <laughs> it's Rahilu. But over the years, people have given me nicknames. So when I was in high school, everybody used to call me Lulu. And then now people call me Ra, which is okay. But yeah, my name is Rahilu Jalo. Okay, cool. So the next question is, where did you grow up? I'm like a combination of like New York City and Guinea Conakry. Like a lot of people tell me I have like this like Brooklyn, African, New York girl accent. And I kind of like that. And, you know, both places have played a big role in like who I am today. So I love that. Um, the next question is, are you named after anyone? So I was actually named after my dad's best friend's wife. Um, when I was younger, she had a whole hospital. Like this woman built a whole hospital in like 1990 something. And if you know like anything about Guinea, women don't get the opportunity to even go to school. And the fact that this woman had her own hospital, she had her own practice and she was just such a boss. I feel like my dad couldn't have given me a better name. So shout out to my father for naming me Rahilu because I couldn't imagine like being called anything else, like if it's perfect. So the next question is, do you speak any languages? I speak Fulani, I speak English, um, I speak Spanish, <laughs> and I also speak a little bit of French. Um, next question, are you in college or have you gone to college? I'm actually no longer in college. I just graduated from the new school with my master's in media management. Um, finally done with school. I've been going to school since I came to America. Like it's been 16 years and every single year I've gone to school. And this is the first year of my life where I don't have to wake up and go to school. And I'm so happy about it. I love being able to just not have to get up and go to school. I love being able to like live my life and not have to worry about doing homework. I love being able to be in the middle of a party and not worried about having to go home by 12 o'clock to hand in my assignment. Like I love it. So I'm not in school anymore. Um, Okay. The next question is, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie in the whole wide world is Love Jones. I have watched Love Jones at least 5,000 times. No cap. Like, maybe even more than that. Like, I know probably like every single word in the movie. Like, okay. So if you actually go and watch Love Jones because of this video, please comment down below and let me know because my goal in life is to really get people to watch this story because it's just so beautiful. And like, also, the reason why I love it so much is because I really feel like I was born in the wrong era and I feel like I should have been in that movie. Like, I feel like Nia Long is me and I'm her. So the next question is, how many countries have you traveled to? So I actually studied abroad when I was um, in college. For my last semester, I studied abroad in Spain for four months. And because of that, I was able to travel and go to a lot of different countries in Europe. Um, so yeah. Uh, because of that, I've been to Spain, I've been to Italy, I've been to Prague, I've been to um, Paris, I've been to Portugal, which is my favorite place in the whole wide world. Um, and yeah, I've also lived in Senegal for a bit. So that's like six, yeah. And my goal this year is to travel some more, so hopefully I'll be taking you guys along on my travel journey, so yeah. All right, so the next question is tea or coffee? Tea like tea all the way. Guys, I drink at least four cups of tea a day, like every day. How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, 
I would describe my fashion sense as cozy, chic, cute. I don't know. Listen, I wake up every single day and I dress how I feel. That's the best way I could describe it. Like, I'll wake up one day and I want to wear sweatpants and I will wear sweatpants. And I'll wake up tomorrow and I want to wear six inch heels or boots and I'll wear that. But overall, I really like to be comfortable in whatever I'm wearing. I don't really... As of late, I don't really like tight clothes. So if you catch me in the street on a regular day, I'm usually wearing like slacks that are like probably like a size bigger because I like to be comfortable and a hoodie and some fly sneakers. Um, if I'm going to a party, you know, if I'm going to like an event, then I like to take it up a notch um, and I'll like wear heels. But I also like to wear a lot of like earth, earth tone colors. Um, I know like this shirt is, you know, jazzy a little bit, um, but I do wear a lot of like really calm colors, um, a lot of grays. Um, hunter green is like my favorite color to wear. So hunter green is my favorite color to wear. And also I wear a lot of burgundy and nude. Those are like my three colors in black and gray. Those are like my colors that I wear all the time. And I like to just be comfortable, just be cozy. And I wake up every day feeling like a different person. So my fashion style is dressing how I feel when I wake up in the morning. I know that wasn't like profound or anything, but that is the answer to that question. Do you have any bad habits? Okay, I'll, I'll say two. One of my bad habits that I have, which is really bad, is that I like to eat on my bed, which is really bad. Like, I know it's terrible. And in Guinea, they say that like, if you eat on your bed, it's gonna rain on your wedding day, but that still doesn't stop me from not eating on my bed. So that's like one bad habit that I have. Another thing that I'm really bad at is texting. Yo, like I really don't be texting people back at all. And I'm also working on that. But honestly, if you need me, just call me. Like, cause if you text me, you're gonna get a response. Like I text like it's emails. Like I'll literally respond to you in one business day. Literally. And all my friends know that. So if you need me, yo, call me. Don't text me cause you're not gonna get a response ever probably but yeah don't text me the next question is let me see let me see let me see um have you read any books that have changed your life yes i have i've read a lot of books that have changed my lives my life right now i'm reading a book called the new earth and my mentor uh suggested that i read the book and it's really good it talks about how to um quiet your ego and be more present. Um, I actually listen to it on Audible. So every morning I listen to a chapter and Oprah actually also has a podcast that goes through each and every chapter of the book. I don't wanna give away too much, but it really makes me understand why I am the way I am. And it helps me understand why I think the way I think, why I look at the world in the way that I look at it. Um, and the book breaks down every single thing and how like a lot of us, we're really doing a lot of things based off of our egos. Um, so yeah, like, it's really good. So the next question is, what is your dream date? What is your dream date? What is my dream date? Okay, as I said before, I'm very mushy. So I, I think my dream date is not really like a location. Actually, I like, I would love to have a date on a beach. It's a picnic on the beach. Um, great weather beautiful breeze while the birds are flying in the sky and chirping um and I would love for the date to have fruits I love kiwis um and watermelon and grapes uh and a nice person uh. <laughs> um but honestly to me like the perfect date is not the location or like the it's not anything fancy. It's about the vibes, man. If you come up with the vibes, like it's going to be beautiful. And I, so it's about the vibes. And I really just appreciate being surrounded by people who are like open and like kind and just like funny and just like dope. But like in your heart, you know, like you don't have to like have like name brands and stuff like that. Like you smart, you like thoughtful, you're caring, you're considerate. Um, yeah, this is turning into like not the date and more of the person, but I do think that like the person really makes the environment. So yeah, like beautiful vibes, beautiful location, 
and we're lit. That's all I need, baby. Next question is your most memorable vacation. I went to Ibiza when I was in Spain for like four days and it was the best place on earth. It was such a beautiful experience. Um, everybody in Ibiza, they're so kind. They're like the kindest people you've ever met in your life. We stayed at a hostel. Um, everybody was just so nice and I really love beaches. I love water. I love nature. So it was beautiful. And like the clubs were lit, like everything was just incredible. And the vibes were like on point. Like people in Ibiza are like the best people in the world. Like it's literally the best place on earth. So if you've never been to Ibiza, you should definitely check it out. It's lit. So that's like one thing that I think like it's very shocking to people because they're like, no, you're not shy, but I'm shy. All right. So the last question, or I think one of the last questions is what is the happiest you've been in your life? And I would say the happiest I've been in my life is right now. Um, I have experienced a lot of interesting things, especially growing up in Guinea and just like coming here and having to navigate between the two worlds of being Fulani and being American and figuring out what it means to be like a Fulani American girl. I don't even claim to be American, but you know, America and being here is a very huge part of my experience. For a long time, I kind of had to learn how to navigate between the two worlds and that comes with a lot of like internal conflicts because you always feel like you're like too African for the Americans and you feel like you're too American for the Africans and me I'm just not a typical Fulani girl at all I'm like very somewhere on the off to a random spectrum so it was really hard kind of navigating those two worlds but I finally got into a space where I've actually fully accepted myself for who I am. That's why I'm very happy right now. And I hope to, you know, continue growing on this journey with you guys. That's the time that we have today. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and listening. And thank you for watching this long ass video about me. Um, I'm excited to be on this journey with you guys. And please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. And if you have any videos that you want me to do, make sure you comment down below. If you have any questions that I haven't answered, if you want to know more about me, like ask me the question. Follow me on Instagram. My, my Instagram is Rahilu. It's at underscore R-A-H-I-L-O-U. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking with me. Um, I'm excited about this journey and I will see you guys next time on my next video. Ciao.